space the final frontier these are the voyages of the scientific enterprise it's a five year mission to park itself in orbit around the sun and to stay put to boldly go where no man has gone before so we need to park our spaceship in orbit around the sun while also making sure that the spacecraft is at rest with respect to the sun okay we have a problem here this is Houston say again please oh uh, you're coming out of problem Houston, can you help us find the points in orbit where we can park our spaceship? If you think parking is only a big city problem, you're mistaken. It is also a problem in the whole vast universe. Points we are looking for are called Lagrange points. And these can be found by considering the gravitational pull of two massive bodies like the Earth and the Sun. Since the ship moves around the Sun, It's pretty obvious that its path is accelerated. Thus, the gravitational attraction of the sun and the earth need to add up to the centripetal force experienced by the spaceship. Calculating this at every point in the relevant space is very tedious. So, let's do some coordinate transformations. We can consider the earth to be stationary and the sun to be moving around the earth. We have a rotating coordinate system which means our coordinate transformation isn't complete yet. We need to account for a few forces to complete our transformation. Let me show you a little magical trick now. Let's say this is our coordinate system. Let's see what happens if I throw in a little centrifugal force to it. This is what we get. This is what our coordinate system looks like right now. we can add the gravitational force of the sun and of the earth to this system what we have done here shows us the effective potential energy and how an object moves according to lagrangian mechanics but we can ignore all that right now and just focus on the diagram here in the diagram the surface is flat at five points these are our lagrange points try placing a ball right here as you can see the ball rolls down but at l1 l2 and l3 any movement from side to side and the ball comes back to its original position but any movement forward or backward and the ball rolls down that's why these points are semi stable l4 and l5 are a completely different story For these two points any deviation activates something known as the coriolis force because of which the object spirals back into place L4 and L5 are so stable that they collect space junk naturally L3 is always blocked by the sun so we can't communicate with it L1 and L2 are the points we use most often thus L1 and L2 are our reserved parking spots in space Even though satellites at these points require course corrections every month or so, we frequently stick space probes like SOHO and PLANK in there to monitor the region towards the sun and the one away from the sun. Thus, Lagrange points prove to be extremely useful to us in monitoring space. Personal log, Commander Arha, Scientific Enterprise. It's time to end the video. I hope. you learn something today don't forget to comment like and subscribe